Hi, today we're here with Esther Adler, author of Breaking the Chains to Freedom. It's a brand new book that you can buy on Amazon, and it's a great book, and I wrote the forward, so that's also pretty exciting. And, and it's an she, awesome forward. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and she's been doing a tour all over the country, visiting homeless shelters. And this week, I was fortunate enough to have her stay with me while she visited homeless shelters in New Jersey and New York. And I thought it would be really interesting to have her share a little bit about those experiences. So, Esther, what would you say would you found this week while you were visiting in New York and New Jersey? What really struck you while you were here? It was amazing the vast differences of each shelter that I went to visit. I went to visit six different shelters. And uh, I started with uh, Jersey City, a women's shelter for battered women. And... That was, uh, at first, I was a little nervous with that because they seemed to be a bit guarded, but as soon as I started with them, they opened up and they were really into everything I said. They were very open to the experience. I put them through some processes, and it was amazing to see the shift in them. In fact, there was one woman who seemed to be totally not paying attention, and um, she, she really got into it, and, and she came up to me and started to confide in me some of the things that she went through. Um, and, and she asked me some advice on how she can move forward and, and really recover from the experience she had with her husband. So I guess one of the most profound things I learned was, you know, to really stay open to each experience because there's no way to know or predict what it would be like. So that was really amazing. What did you find leads people to some of these homeless shelters? I know we had talked about some had been battered women. And any other reasons that you met that yeah, people wound up like, there? It, it's amazing the, the, uh, the amount of stories that would bring someone to homelessness. I mean, a lot of them battered. Uh, some have gone through incarceration, and so it's almost like a halfway house. Some, you know, I wouldn't even say most, an actual small amount have mental illness. Um, some just lost their jobs. I mean, it's really everything and anything, you know. Uh, some were kicked out from their family's home for, you know, many different reasons. Um, there was one lady who, uh, you know, uh, the city actually, uh, you know, uh, she lost a, a court case against the city and lost her job and, you know, was was dealing with trying to get her life back in order. So it's it's unbelievable all the different stories that bring people to, you know, homelessness and, you know, how we can uh, help them and, and really not judge them. Most of them are dealing with being judged by uh, all different kinds of people in term, and also people that are, they're trying to get jobs from. So it's really, really sad. Let me ask, what is one of your hopes in doing the tours that you're doing and visiting the homeless shelters? My big hope is actually to give them hope and to give them something to think about and maybe some ideas on how they can start changing their lives. And then another goal of mine is to actually bring light to the general population so that we can perhaps, number one, stop judging them and see them in a different light and also give them a, give us ideas on ways that we can help them because so many of us are, are looking at Africa, not that we, we shouldn't be helping, you know, the poverty in, in other countries, but there is so much poverty right here in our backyard and I think we are so quick to pass a homeless person on the street or the people collecting you know, help the homeless people. We just don't even think about it. And then we'll see an ad on TV, oh, help the people in Africa, and we'll just give them money without even thinking. And I'm not saying don't give them money, but how can we help people in their own backyard? And I'm really hoping that we can at least bring some light and a different viewpoint on what these people go through. I think it sounds great, and I think it's going to be such a successful journey that you're going to touch many, many lives, and you already have with many of the stories that you've shared with me at night when you've come back from the shelters, just the amazing, profound interactions you had with some of the men, some of the women at different yeah, shelters. It, it's been amazing. I mean, one of the biggest 
things that I took away is the license to giving them a chance to share and be heard and really giving them an opportunity to share what they've been going through and really have somebody listen to them has been life-changing for them but also for me just seeing like their their face light up and their passion come alive I mean I had one man who in literally 10 minutes wrote me a poem and told me he's a poet and you know, he's a comedian and how everybody around him seems to be happy. So he knows he has this gift of making people happy. And how he used to actually be a motivational speaker before he, you know, was sent to prison. And he always knows the right thing to do. And sometimes, you know, he gets lost and he needs help just staying focused. And, you know, he said he believes now by listening to me that he has some tools to stay focused and and that was just amazing that that's all it took, you know. So, you know, one of the things I learned is, again, we're just so quick to judge these people. And we all do things that don't feel good at times. And we all do things that maybe perhaps make other people not feel good. And we're just quick to judge people that maybe do things where they do things that doesn't feel good for them or that doesn't feel good for other people. And therefore, they end up in jail. And it doesn't make them bad. It just makes them at that moment in a state where they just don't feel good and we all do that and if we can again just take away the judgment and how can we help them it's amazing how their life can change and really how our life can change well thanks Esther could you tell us again how people can get your book the name of the book the name of the book is breaking the chains to freedom you can get it right on Amazon I think they're selling it now for like ten dollars or if you just want to visit my website, estheradler.com, that's E-S-T-H-E-R-A, D like doctor, L-E-R.com. And then you can actually follow the shelter tour. I'm doing this all over the country. And you can find out more about my book right on my website as well. Well, thanks, Esther. It's been great having you here and hearing about your journey. Oh, Thank you so much. It's been amazing. Thanks, Lisa. You've been such a great hostess. And I just, I always love coming and sharing with you. Thanks.